So we'll be doing paragraph 5 from A Course in Miracles today. Um, so, paragraph 5 from Atonement and Miracles in A Course in Miracles. Okay. On page 7. Error cannot really threaten truth, which can always withstand it. Only the error is actually vulnerable. You are free to establish your kingdom where you see fit, but the right choice is inevitable if you remember this. Spirit is in a state of grace forever. Your reality is only spirit. Therefore, you are in a state of grace forever. So for me, what that means is that anything that isn't the state of grace that doesn't come from my spirit is error. And error is vulnerable. Error can be threatened. Um, but my true state of grace cannot be threatened ever. It's my truest nature. And it is the only thing that is real. And I just need to remember that. Atonement undoes all errors in this respect, and thus uproots the source of fear. Whenever you experience God's reassurances as threat, it is always because you are defending misplaced or misdirected loyalty. So when I'm being loyal to the error, I'm in fear of what God... I'm in fear of God undoing the error, because I think the error is actually... Well, this is, I think it's because I think the error is actually keeping me safe and I create more and more errors out of more and more fear. Um, but when I'm loyal to God and when I'm loyal to the Spirit, then I have the atonement, which will undo all of that. Um... When you project this to others, you imprison them, but only to the extent to which you reinforce errors they have already made. This makes them vulnerable to the distortions of others, since their own perception of themselves is distorted. The miracle worker can only bless them, and this undoes their distortions and frees them from prison. So the distortion, right, is that I'm, I'm bad, I'm wrong, because I made an error. The distortion is that I even made an error. Because I can't make an error. No one can really make an error. Um, and to the extent to which I can see past any error that someone does and view them only with love, um, then I... I can bless them, and when I bless them, I bless myself. Because, well, it doesn't talk about this in this paragraph, but when I try to imprison someone in their error, I'm imprisoning myself in my own errors and in their errors. Um, and... Yeah. So I need to have loyalty to God so that I can live in my state of grace that is true and mine. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks.